Hello! Today we have a lower body workout. It's going to consist of one, two, three, four, five exercises. And um, our warm up is going to be basically us just going through the exercises that we're going to be doing with, um, with our weights later. So we're going to start with just a regular squat. Um, oh, and after those after those uh, exercises in the warm up, we're just going to do a couple of exercises to get our heart rate up and our blood pumping. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to start with is just a squat. So we're going to be putting the weights either here uh, today or you could put it by your side. Um, so I'm just going to pretend like I have weights here and I'm just going to go down and up and work that squat. Um, movement, just trying to open up my hips at the bottom, squeezing my glutes at the top, and last one right here. Okay, now we're going to go into a drop lunge or like a rotational lunge. So we're going to start facing straight ahead and we're going to alternate sides. So here we go one drop down i want you to drive your weight into the heel of your foot and then press it back stand up switch sides drop here push out push off of that leg that's in the back here drive up right back to standing two more one Last one and two. Okay, now next exercise is going to be a single leg deadlift. So we're gonna use the wall or you can put your foot up on something elevated. That's fine too, like if you have a stool or a, um, a chair or something like that. So you're gonna put your foot here or just put it in the very corner where the wall meets the floor and you're just gonna hinge over till you get your back parallel and you wanna feel all that movement in your hip. So hinging at the hip, pushing the hip back, transferring the weight to that back heel. So the, the weight's in the heel of your foot and your shoe. So hinge, you're gonna have two dumbbells here eventually. So let's just pretend like we have those two weights here, push the weight into the heel and come back up to standing. We're working the front glute so sorry the front leg we're working that glute all right so try to make that connection as you're going through the movement again other side hinge push your weight into your heel stand up just pretending like you have weights in your hands and you pay attention to your upper back so you don't let your shoulders round forward and reach for the floor your shoulders are back just like that just like you would do a normal deadlift hinge last one right here and then we're just going to kind of turn around to the side and and um, use the wall for a little bit of balance and we're going to go into a hamstring kickback uh, we're going to do these later with a band if you have it if not you can just do it with body weight okay so you're just going to hold on to the wall and make sure you're just using your glute keeping your leg let's keep our knee straight um, and you're just going to uh, use your hamstring and glute to lift that leg. You might have to hinge a little bit at the hip, but you want to have your hamstring and glute firing on. All right, and then switch sides. Straight leg of the leg that's going back. Feel that hamstring, feel that glute muscle. two and one okay now the last thing we're going to do is a paused walking lunge so we've been doing a lot of lunge variations um, this one is going to be holding two weights we're holding at the bottom one two three four right into the other side one two three four right into the other side one two three four Keep going, you just hold at the bottom at your lowest point for four seconds before lunging right into that opposite leg. Just a couple more of these. Three, four, 
One, two, three, four. One more. I'm going to run off base. One, two, three, and four. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do a couple butt kickers and some jumping jacks, and then we are going to be ready. All right. So butt kickers, you're just going to try to get your heel to your butt. 30 seconds here. Just kind of waking up that body. It's morning here. Just letting my body know, hello, gonna start working pretty hard. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now we're gonna go into just a regular jumping jack for 30 seconds and go. Promise this is the only jumps we're doing today. Even though I, um, well, I usually do a lot of jumps, but not today. Your lucky day or unlucky. I really love jumping. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. All right. So we're going to go back to that very first movement, um, the squat. I want you to load it up. Um, not as heavy as you possibly can take it. Okay. Cause we're kind of going to increase, gradually increase our weight. All right. So you're going to grab a moderate, um, amount of weight and place it on your shoulders. Now that could be two dumbbells. That could be one heavy kettlebell. That could be, um, a barbell, uh, whatever you're going to use. You're going to go ahead and, um, I'll probably use the barbell. Yeah. Um, you're going to go ahead and grab your weight. All right. That was loud. I'm just going to use the dumbbells. Okay. All right. So go ahead, put the weight on your shoulders and we're going to go together and try to get 10 good quality reps. Now, if you're like, oh gosh, I kind of loaded too heavy, just maybe do eight or nine. You want to feel like you have a couple left in the tank. All right. So challenge yourself, but you be, should be able to get through all of these, especially this being the first set. Okay. One, two, four, Two more. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go back into those rotational drop lunges. Now you can stay with two weights or you can drop down to one weight. Um, I'm doing uh, one weight, but it doesn't matter. My legs are still a little bit sore, so it doesn't matter. Um, if you have fresh legs, I'd go for two or maybe try one the first round and add two the second. Um, just kind of play around with it, whatever feels right for your body. So hold the weight here if you have one weight. All right, drop down. We're doing the same leg, okay? Push your weight into your heel, find your glute. And this is eight, and then we're going to switch to the other side, right into it. Ready? Drop down, one. Six. Seven, and last one, and done. Okay, now you are going to grab two weights um, and go into our single leg deadlift. All right, so if you want to go moderate here and kind of build your way up, that's fine. So you're going to hinge, one foot's going to be kind of pressed against the wall. Um, 
all the weights in that front foot. Ready? Drop down, flat back. Squeeze your glute. You can even lock out your knee at the top if you want. your last one I'm going to eight sorry forgot to tell you switch other leg and go you want to make sure you don't feel anything in your lower back your glutes and your hamstrings are powering you back up to the top one and done okay now if you have a band like a long band that is um, uh, connects that doesn't have a handle you are going to rope it around something like this see how I have this um, it's attached to my treadmill you can't see it and you're gonna place your foot in the band just one at a time okay and you're gonna kick back here. Now, if you need, if you start to feel your lower back, something, you can grab your, a chair or something and kind of lean forward and, and kind of hold, hold it like this. Um, another uh, modification or variation would be you are coming down to all fours and kicking back like this, okay? So whatever, feels good for you. I'm going to stand up. Um, and if you don't have a band, something else you could do would be to lie flat on your back, grab a moderate dumbbell, and you're going to hold it in between your feet just like this. And you're going to curl it up and down nice and slow working those hamstrings. Make sure you have a good hold. I think I probably almost just lost that weight. Um, you could do that on the floor or you can do it elevated on a bench if you have a bench, okay? If you're doing the single leg kickbacks, you're gonna do um, 20 on each side. Ready and go. So, kick back, two, Slightly bent, both knees are slightly bent. You're gonna go all the way to 20. Trying to press that foot as far back as you can get it behind you. Couple more, all the way to 20. Then you're gonna switch sides. Now, if you're lying flat with the dumbbell, um, you're just gonna go until you feel kind of uh, a lot of fatigue on your hamstrings. So there's, depending on the weight that you're using, it's just gonna be dependent on the person, okay? So you wanna be able to feel your hamstrings um, getting fatigued in that movement. So how many ever reps that takes? But right here, 20 will definitely do the job. And if your band is really thick, maybe you can't get to 20, maybe you only do 10. So this band right here is pretty light to medium resistant. So 20 is a sweet spot for me. But again, the feeling that you're, that you're um, trying to get is fatiguing in the hamstring and specifically hamstring, but you'll feel the glute as well. Press back, try to make sure your hips Remain square the whole time. And that's about 20. Okay, your last movement is gonna be those paused walking lunges. So weights here. We're gonna go about Oh, let's say, let's say uh, about a minute. 
All right, ready? Four second count at the bottom and go. So lunge, hold, one, two, three, four. Lunge. Right into the other side. Notice I'm not stopping in the middle to take a little bit of a break. I'm going right from one lunge into the other lunge into the opposite leg. Shoulders are back. Loading the legs as long as I can. Specifically that front leg. I'm going to have to turn because I'm cheating here. 20 seconds to go. Goes by quick. Three, four. Maybe not if you're using a a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of weight. Okay, almost there. Yep, we have four seconds left. So one, two, three, four, and rest. All right, round one is complete. So it should go by really quickly now. You're gonna rest and we're gonna go do that two more times, hopefully, promptly. Grab water. I did bring my water. Did remember my water today. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna let our heart rate come down a lot. And then we're gonna go back to your squats and then your deadlifts. Sorry, drop lunges. So now's the time to think about, do you want to modify the weights that you had? Uh, are you fine with the weights that you used? Remember, we're gonna be going through this two more times. So think about that as well. Take that into consideration. All right, so if you need some extra time, I'm fine with between each, um, if you need any extra time between the movements, rest longer, that's totally fine, but try not to make it um, any longer than like a two minute uh, rest. That would be like max, okay? All right, back to your squats, 10-ish reps. Ready and go. So try to get as low as you can while maintaining proper form. Nine and last one. Perfect. Okay, drop lunge. Now look, if feels this feels better for you, you can keep the weights here if you want to do two weights like this. Like that, okay? All the way to eight. Last one on this leg and switch. Here we go. Two, three, Two more. Last one. Ugh. And rest. Probably need to give your grip strength a little bit of a rest before we go into those deadlifts. Now, deadlifts. If you want to, this time, try to do them elevated. I'm gonna try to do that. And I'll show you. I'm gonna use the end of this bench and I'm just gonna have my back foot here and hinge this way, okay? All right, so if you need any extra time, take it, but I'm gonna get going. We're gonna do eight reps again on each side. So grab your weights, 
one foot back, boop, and maintain good form, go. So bend that knee enough where you can push that hip way back and hinge. Let that glute push you, drive you up to standing. All right, switch sides. Can't find my bench back here. And whoa, go. I just did that side. <laughs> oh goodness, don't wanna do it again. All the weights in the heel of your shoe. Oh, here's six and seven and eight. Hips are square. Oh, all right. Drop your weights. Kickbacks and lunges, okay? Kickbacks first, pause lunges, and then your round two will be over. Over, over, over. All right, I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna loop around this way so I can use my bench and hinge over. All right, remember, it's 20 reps each side. Now, if you're using, or ish, and if you're using, uh, your uh, dumbbell and bending over that way, then you're just gonna go until you're almost fatigued. Okay, ready and go. Core's pulled in the whole time. Halfway there, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, other side. And right into it, go. Twelve, thirteen, And 20. All right. Oh boy. Last exercise of your second circuit, second round. All right. I'm going to grab the weight. We're going to go one minute again this time. Okay. So find your weight. Make sure you're holding as low as you can the bottom um, of your lunge, so as close to the ground as you can. Ready? And go. Shoulders are back. We're gonna go up here for a second. Three, four. Breathe, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Less than 20 seconds to go. Whoa. All right, here we go, last one. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. Big rest. Big sip of water. And you have one more round. One more round. Now, 
if you're somewhere and you don't have your weights with you or a band even and you're doing this all body weight then go through it a fourth time or play it again and um, go through it as many times as you want to or if you're just feeling really strong um, and have a lot of energy go through it a fourth time as well but we're gonna do three together and then you kind of choose where you are at the end of that third set okay focus on your breathing let's let that heart rate come down mine gets so elevated but it does tend to come down quickly but a good um, if you're doing like eight to 10 reps or a really long set of something, you wanna to try to rest like one to two minutes before you start the next movement, okay? All right, let's give it about 20 more seconds and then we'll start again. Back with those squats, then the drop lunges, and then the deadlifts, um, the kicks, and the pause lunges, and then you'll be done. Seems easy, right? Okay. Grab your weights, um, place them where you want to place them, either here, here, or by your sides, and get your 10 reps in. Okay, ready, and go. Try not to spend a lot of time at the bottom or the top. Eight nine and last one oh all right now drop your weight for a second figure out how you want to load those rotational drop lunges eight reps each side i'm gonna go for the two dumbbells again all right grab them Right side, then left side. Whoopsie, I'm gonna start this way first. <laughs> then rotate. Ready? And go. side. Whoa. Here we go. Last two. Seven. Last one. And eight. Okay, we're resting for a bit. And then we get to do our deadlifts. And then our kickbacks and lunges. So incredibly close. Grab water if you're needing it like I am. Here we go, deadlifts. Grab your weights, eight reps each side. Let's see, go ahead and find your foot placement. Take my left back first this time. Ready and go. Really think about the muscles that you're working. Four, five, Six, back should not be lower than parallel. Seven and eight, switch. Next side, hinge, drive up. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, last one. Okay, drop your weights and grab that band. Really loading those glutes and hamstrings today. 20 and 20. This is one of those movements where you're working, but you also can kind of let your heart rate come down a little bit while you're doing it, especially if you're kind of hinged over. It feels nice to be able to like brace yourself here. All right, so 20, go. Kick. Halfway there. Way there, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh boy, lots of sweat, lots of sweat here. Last movement walking pause lunges. This is your last minute of work. Okay. Now you're going to give it all your all, all right. You're going to get as low as you can and you're going to hold it for that true four seconds. And then you're also going to do a really good job of just transitioning from one leg into the next and not um, kind of cheating in the middle. All right. One minute starts now and go. Right into the other side. Both knees should be as close to 90 as you can get them. One, two, three, and four. Thirty seconds, less than thirty seconds. Eight seconds to go. Three, two, and one. All right, drop your weight. And you made it. You're done, maybe, unless you wanna go some more, and that's totally fine. Uh, if you're cooling down, really good um, cool down exercise is going to a down dog, to a pigeon. Um, just stretching out that posterior chain, driving your knee forward, opening up the hip, stretching the glute. You can stay lifted or you can come down. And back into that down dog, other side. So after a pretty intense workout session, you wanna try, you wanna make sure you cool down and focus on your breathing because you really wanna bring your heart rate back down and calm down that nervous system, okay? Because you are putting a lot of stress on your body when you're lifting heavy and your heart rate's elevated and you wanna get yourself out of that fight or flight state. So really try to focus on your breath, really try to calm your whole body down. That's why cool down is so important. I know sometimes I skip it, um, but it's super important to be able to kind of calm down and shift out of that uh, fight or flight stage. 
So take a couple of big deep breaths here. And then you're just gonna walk your hands forward. And if this doesn't feel great, you can also take your feet wide, take your legs wide, make a V, and just reach forward like this, stretching those inner thighs. And then come up. Last thing we're gonna do is you're gonna lie on your back and just do a figure four. So lift that foot off the ground. You can even push your um, knee away from your body here to, to really get that hip to open up a little bit more. Shouldn't be painful, should just feel a nice um, stretch. It should feel good. And then switch sides here. Same thing. If that feels better on the ground with your foot on the ground, that's fine depending on the mobility of your hip hamstring, hip, hip flexors, all of that, depending on how you want to do this and go about this, this stretch, okay? Um, if you want to use that band that you had earlier, a really great hamstring stretch, and I don't like to hold it for very long, but just kind of use the band and give it a nice little pull. Also great inner thigh, go from like hamstring to your adductor, and then this feels great as well. All right, you can do each side just holding for about 10 seconds. But if you want to, if you can, try to keep this knee as straight as you can and pull as much as you can without lifting this hip so much off the ground, okay? And then let it just hang here. Let that inner thigh stretch. And then you're gonna take it across your body and let it hang here. It's not touching the floor, okay? All right, well, you survived, I hope. <laughs> um, if you want to repeat this workout again um, later on the week, great. I'm also um, gonna be sending you um, your upper body core hit um, separately, okay? So, hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon.